The James Bond movie moments that define 007. There's no question that the James Bond film franchise, the second longest running such series in cinema history after Godzilla, comes with certain expectations in the minds of viewers. We can predict, mostly like clockwork, that 007 will wear a tux at some point in every film, he will bet at least one or more beautiful women, he'll drive an Aston Martin, or some other high-end vehicle. And that he'll have one polite conversation with the villain before the shooting really starts. There will also be a surreal, psychedelic credits sequence, often a big action scene before the credits, and so on. But all those iconic trademarks of the Bond film franchise didn't happen overnight. They were gradually introduced, especially in the early films, with some of them springing from the original Ian Fleming books and others invented by the filmmakers who adapted them. Some have remained virtually the same since their inception, while others, like Bond himself, have evolved over time. From the moment you see him on screen, you can't take your eyes off him. Dark eyes blazing, cigarette tucked into his mouth, drink nearby and tux wrapped around his broad frame, Sean Connery uttered the famous words for the first time, Bond, James Bond, in 1962 as Dr. No and made you believe in an instant that he was Ian Fleming's super spy. Lifted right off the page. We should probably call them Bond women now. And there is a lot of room right to the present day to debate how misogynist the early Bond films were, and how they've tried to evolve with the times with varying degrees of success, but there's no question that when Ursula Andress walked out of the surf to proudly confront Bond as the bikini-clad, feral honey rider in Dr. No, she set hearts racing around the world, and, like her leading man, established a template for all the Bond women that followed. Technically, Eunice Gason's sexy Sylvia Trench was the first Bond girl, and their brief tete-a-tete -tete at the beginning of the film also established 007's casual attitude toward women and sex. But Honey was the model for the main Bond girl, whose presence in the plot can either be essential or there to simply complicate Bond's mission, and who usually starts out strong-willed and independent but eventually, and often unfortunately, requires rescuing by our hero. Whatever the case, and however the series has evolved since, Andress and her character launched a long line of staggeringly beautiful co-stars who stay resolutely by Bond's side and often end up in his bed, never to be seen again after the closing credits.